I've heard that going on the pill can actually mm -hmm. help regulate a woman's cycle. Is that true? That's true. It, and the pill is one of the most common ways we do to regulate cycles. And I always think they misname the pill, the birth control pill, because right. it's good for painful periods, heavy periods, irregular periods. Pe in some cases, PMS, not always, right. but, but in some Even cases. Even acne. Right, menstrual headaches. So there's ways we can use the pill, and it's a great reducer of um, hair growth and male and acne, male right. hormone. Now, how young do you, when you make that decision as an OBGYN to put a young patient on, the pill. Yeah, I would first try other things so and evaluate what's going on, just not to start someone on hormones so young. Um, and I think there's sort of a connotation people feel funny being, that, that's why they should have never named it the birth control Right, because you just think it's, yeah, it's parents a, don't like it's a gateway it. to sex. Yeah, right. So, but, but certainly if other standard things we're using aren't right. working to regulate the cycle or the pain, um, then I would feel very comfortable even 14, 15, even younger if we had to, right. starting on a birth control pill. Now, if going on the pill doesn't help with regulating your period, could it be signed as something else? Is that normal, maybe like fibroids or uterine right. cancer? So anybody who has abnormal periods, uh, we want to do a workup before just saying, occasionally if it just seems like someone has an abnormal period, we may say try the pill. Right. But if the pill's not working, or there's something that suggests another problem, or they're young enough that you can't really do a pelvic exam on them, we're gonna get an ultrasound, we're gonna do some lab work and see are there any underlying causes. And then we try the pill first and, mm -hmm. and go from there.